Hi everyone and welcome to 30 Queen Street in Seaton, Devon. This is home to Betty's Books and Devon Art Supplies as I'm sure you'll be aware if you've followed along the channel and watched the previous videos. You'll probably have noticed that it has changed a lot again um, and that's because we have had a big shake up and move around and we are actually preparing for some more buildings works that's going to be happening later on this year to bring us even more space um, which will allow us to stock even more arty and crafty and book related items. So if you haven't seen the previous videos then this will be your first look around the shop but if you have you'll probably have noticed that things have moved around um, and look a bit different. So this is our fantastic bookcase that a local carpenter built for us. It's a custom design bookcase which we absolutely love. Then we've got these new units um, up and they display a lot of the books that we stock. So the majority of the books that we stock, they're all new um, in this area here and they are majority for adults and young adults. We have a very small selection for children's books. Uh, we're focusing on the books non-fiction and fiction for adults. Um, with it being World Book Day coming up, we have got, as I say, a small selection of children's books and we've got the uh, World Book Day books as well. So as we come forward over here, you'll see my little office space. Uh, that's my master's certificate on display uh, because I recently completed my master's, which is going to mean I've got more time for getting back to painting. So anyone who watches the channel for videos on painting and arts and things like that, hopefully this year I'll actually have more time to, to do that because I have been doing my master's, which is complete and I pass. Uh, so this little room here, this is the pre-love room. So this is books from my friends and family. Um, that we put in here um, as a pre-love so that we sell these ones so that we can afford to buy more books. <laughs> we don't actually take donations from anyone else, I'm afraid, um, and that's just because we're limited to space. Um, so unfortunately, we can't take donations of secondhand books from anyone else um, at the moment. Um, and so here, as we come around, you'll see a lot more arts and crafts supplies. On this side, you've got the papers, and then you go up towards the modelling supplies. We're quite limited on balsa wood at the moment. There seems to be an issue in getting balsa wood in, but um, we've got lots of um, model kits and we've got the humbrol products, such as the sprays and the tinlets. And we've got a great selection of puzzles dotted around the shop as well. We noticed, um, especially during the lockdowns, that people were loving the puzzles, so we increased the amount of puzzles. Um, this is some of my artwork um, that I've got left. There's not very many, I'm afraid. Um, there's a few limited edition prints um, and there's a few... Uh, originals um, but because I haven't painted in probably at least a year and a bit now uh, properly I haven't got very many pieces of work available I have got lots of card prints so there's always going to be card prints but um, a lot of my work has sold through now I'm afraid um, as we come around the corner you'll see things like acrylic paint oil paint watercolor paint lino printing posca pens gouache there then we move around into the inks and ink tanks blocks and we've got all of the sort of sketching supplies. So this is the sort of area where you'll find a lot of your art supplies for everyone from beginners and students all the way through to professionals. If you can't find what you're looking for in store, it's probably that we've got it either on the website or in the Connect warehouse that we use. Um, so sometimes we get customers who need particular products, but they're not very popular products. So what we do is we order them in uh, and they're usually here within 24 to 48 hours. Um, so that allows us to serve the rest of the community um, on the products that are less often purchased. Um, and it means that we can get everything you need that's arty and crafty um, it's just that sometimes they're not physically here to be able to either ship to you or for you to collect straight away but 24 to 48 hours isn't too long to wait I'm sure and as we come down this way you've got paper crafting and stamping supplies so as I'm sure you'll be aware Imagine Design Create is the brand that we created back in 2016 or 2017 um, and that's a lot of stamps and stencils so if I swing back around here you'll see some of the stencils and then on the twisty stand just around here are a lot of the stamps. And this is um, one of the areas that we're hoping to extend later on in this year. We've actually booked in the works with the builders. Um, so we're hoping that this will be going ahead all being well, as long as there's nothing else scary that happens to the businesses, um, no more shutdowns and whatnot. Um, then we're hoping to extend out into the studio and um, also the courtyard garden as well. So we've got lots of extension works planned and it's going to allow us to stock even more items, um, arts and crafts and everything else. Um, a lot of you have also been asking if we're going to bring back the lessons and workshops. I'm afraid we're not going to bring back the large workshops uh, purely because of space and time. But what we will do is bring back the one-to-one -one, 
uh, lessons and also looking at different ways in which we can work with sort of uh, one-to-ones and probably two or three maximum uh, friends or family groups um, for different sessions because I know a lot of you are on the contact list and you all want me to, to get back into to doing that into teaching and showing you how to use all the products and things. So my aim this year, now that my brain is not fried and it's had a bit of a rest since um, passing, as I say, my masters and focusing on all of that, I will hopefully now have chance to get back to things. So as I've gone around, I've probably missed a few things like the yarn and the wool, but I'm sure you saw all of that. And as I come just around this way, this is more of the books um, and things on display. And there's the young adult selection there as well. So this shop is definitely somewhere to come if you are visiting Seaton. Uh, it's got a bit of everything for people who enjoy books, arts, crafts and hobbies. Um, and it's also got, as I say, my artwork and cards and things. So if you're just looking for cards for fam friends and family, we've got lots of cards. There's photography and artwork cards here as well. And if you're coming down towards World Book Day, then bring in your book tokens and you can get yourself one of the free books. We've got those there. And that's about it for now, but that's um, a quick look around at what we look like now here at 30 Queen Street in Seaton in Devon. And hopefully um, I will be uploading some more content videos for you over the coming weeks and months um, to show you that I'm still creative <laughs> and that I have still um, got my passion for arts and crafts. And um, yeah, I hope to share that with you again soon. Have a lovely week. Take care. Bye bye.